The Prime Minister of the Netherlands, Mark Rutte, has joined his Australian counterpart during a state visit to Australia in voicing exasperation with Moscow for its failure to assist the Dutch and Australian investigation into the shooting down of Malaysian Airlines flight MH17 over Ukraine this July. All 298 passengers were killed, including 193 Dutch and 38 Australians. Mark, it's terrific to see you. I expect him to do everything he can to put pressure on uh, the separatists uh, to allow, uh, allow unhindered access to the crash site, uh, to work with the Ukrainians to do what would be only natural and acceptable, which is for Australia, <coughs> Malaysia, the Netherlands and the other countries being involved, uh, to bring back the remaining remains, the personal belongings and to do our investigation. The Australian leader also implored Putin to start cooperating. But weeks after the crash, Russia's military proxies still control the crash site, which investigators say has been contaminated. Vital evidence has also been removed and personal belongings, such as jewellery, stolen from the dead passengers. Australia expects full Russian cooperation with the investigation. Um, we don't want the investigation ridiculed. We don't want the investigation... Uh, compromised or sabotaged. Uh, we want full cooperation with the investigation. Uh, we owe it to our dead uh, to secure justice. And Russia, as a member of the international community, uh, owes it to the world, owes it to humanity to ensure that justice is done. And Russian soldiers are widely believed to have shot down the plane, mistakenly believing they were targeting a Ukrainian army transport plane. Despite solid evidence supporting that claim, Moscow has denied any responsibility.